Hello, Miss Paid family. Welcome back to the platform once again. It's a beautiful morning, and we're standing right here at Gray City Phase 3 Junction. So, before we even get into what we're going to be talking today, let me introduce who I'm with today as well. I'm joined by the Director of Marketing and Innovations for Royal Kingdom Estates, Mr. Seth Yamoa. Hello. Hi, Joe. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good too. Good so to I just, here. yeah, I wanted them to just understand the fact that we're here today to give them more updates and then just backtracking a little. We started right from the beginning showing that the access routes, the road infrastructure, that video especially, we just told all the neighboring you know vicinities yeah yeah we, we start from um, every gardens yes we showed them the road infrastructure then from there we went to the every craft village mm -hmm. we came to the site yes. we showed them how good the road network is exactly and this is something that like we we said in the previous videos you don't necessarily even get in prime Accra mm -hmm. um how good the roads are yeah. coming to this this place or yeah. coming to our development mm -hmm. you know so we had to show them the road exactly. infrastructure then we looked at the recreational exactly. centers exactly. Look at the Papaya Recreational mm -hmm. Village. Then we went to the Obodica Waterfall, and also to show them that we have all these things around. We also show them the markets. Exactly. The, the market, food markets, the, the food market, the yes. malls. You know, they had the privilege. They had the privilege of seeing the the malls, the services. Mm -hmm the eateries around yes. you know and today we are here to show them the medical facilities, facilities around yeah. and we do some of these things because we have clients exactly. that you know they trust us to the point that they don't need to even step foot here okay. some do get third parties to come view the, the plots on their behalf but some also don't do that they just yeah. trust us okay. they go ahead the purchase that responsibility also lies on us or that honest lies on us yeah. to also show to them what they they stand to benefit it's not just about the site but what is around the site yeah. when we say gated community yes it's gated security everything within the community needs yeah. to be there but what's around outside the yeah, community exactly. is as, it's equally as important as what is within the community mm -hmm. you know so it's 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 good that we are showing them all these things and this where we are standing now is like you said is a junction of gray city phase three it yeah. also doubles or could double as the junction of gray city phase four exactly and it's about two three minutes drive away from phase one and phase two so all these medical facilities that we are going to be showing to them today is about let's say uh, 10 seven minutes drive away from this development about 15 minutes drive away from the view and black star village yeah. so we're excited to be here i'm ready to hit the road all right and what's around okay so first stop is the insulum government hospital it's very very close so let's get on to it and then see everything that it has to offer At the Insawam Government Hospital, this is one very popular hospital. A lot yes. of people come here. It's very, very big, and they have a lot of, you know, um, medical facilities. They have a lot of attendants, like everything you need, you will find it over yes. here. Yes, they also have ambulances mm -hmm. to to um, offer those kind of services. So 
you, you saw how close, or yeah. I mean, you drove here in about seven, seven minutes. minutes yeah. yeah, we are here. And it's important to have such facilities around because when there is an emergency, mm -hmm. right, you need to be able to uh, secure the services of an ambulance. Yeah. And if you are looking at about six, seven minutes, then that's good yeah. because the ambulance can get there on time. Or even if you are rushing someone here, mm -hmm. you can get here on time to at least stabilize the person. Yeah. So it helps with, let's say, stability before the person receives the actual medical attention that is even needed. So this is one of the medical facilities or the major main medical facilities. Yeah. Is around and this government hospital is serving in Sawom and some um, enclaves or suburbs around in Sawom. Yeah. So, again, our clients are very fortunate mm -hmm. in as much as we have um, commercial plots and the great city uh, development yeah. where we will have some medical facilities. Mm -hmm. It's also important that outside the community you have medical facilities yeah. around because it is any emergency was on your way back mm -hmm. and it's, it's close, it's close exactly. to get by. We also look at pharmacies mm -hmm. and you could tell that we stopped at one pharmacy. Yes, Peak Aid. Yes, Peak Aid. Very oh, beautiful. They have beautiful a lot pharmacy. of yeah, so If you've, you've you sought medical attention and now a prescription has been given to you for med, uh, drugs mm -hmm. or medication and you have to get them whilst you're home, it's very close by. Very, you can literally walk from Grey City Phase 4 to that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, it's very close. Um, you, you don't have any problem when it comes to medical aid. Yeah. So you have the, the hospital, you have the clinic, you have the pharmacies, the pharmacies yeah. around. So, I mean... You're covered. You're covered. Literally. Yeah, it's you're amazing. Covered. And the road network here too is very good. The infrastructure, road mm -hmm. infrastructure getting here. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be a case where the road is so bad that you can't even move fast yeah. when you have to get here on time. And when you have to get here late, it's, it's safe. The road is good. You don't have any problem yeah. at all. Yeah. That is wonderful. So we're always talking about the importance of uh, amenities. That is why we're here today. You can have all the amenities, you know, inside your development, but location amenities is also key. What is surrounding you? Now, You, even if you've, had, you've never heard of the Insawim Government Hospital, today you have, and it's here to serve you. So that is it. We just want to show you everything that is close to you that you can easily access to make living comfortable and brilliantly amazing. We, we actually may not be able to capture all the mm -hmm. clinics or facilities around. Yeah. So we just want to do these few stops few to ones, show yeah. these major ones. But there are, I mean, you saw some clinics. There was one yes. clinic not far from mm -hmm. here. So there are some clinics around. Yeah, yeah, we may not be able to touch on all of them or cover all it's of them. Lot. But this is just to give them the confidence that mm -hmm. I just as we show them the markets, the recreational yeah. activities, the road infrastructure, yeah. there's also medical mm -hmm. facilities around. Mm -hmm. So they are covered. Yeah, amazing. So you're not limited to just these. Once you build your dream property, you move and you can explore all you want. There's so much to see, so much to experience. So you've seen it for yourself and just like we mentioned in the beginning there are so many other facilities around the development that you can explore so just a few of them that we decided to touch on for you to have you know a fair idea of what is around you when you're in great city so we're back at great city phase three yeah there's still development ongoing yes every uh, time we come here there's a different update yeah you can see that the the last time we came here the black soil was up to a certain point yes. but it looks like it's been spreaded across much more area mm -hmm. for the green park and the will you know works will continue and like we've been saying we'll come back and do a, a thorough update video mm -hmm. for them but the green park work is going on okay. and yeah we've seen the major 
uh, or we, we stopped at the Sawam government hospital. Hus hospital that's the one of the main uh, medical facilities around yeah. there like we mentioned earlier there are quite a number of them mm -hmm. there are two um, clinics mm -hmm. not far from here maybe one day when we have the chance because we had to come back to site exactly impromptu the weather this is gonna rain so mm -hmm. we have to run away but it, um, it gives them that that's comfort or that confidence that yeah. everything is around this this um, development sure. the medical facilities for your mental well-being yeah. for your health you know regular checkups you can always move out of this enclave and go to Accra yes. to run checkups checkups are meant to be regular mm -hmm. such that you can you can maintain you know your your health status so yeah. when you have such facilities around it helps it helps and then we also spoke about emergency situations or yes. scenarios where maybe it's late in the night mm -hmm. or you know, there's something happening you have to rush to the hospital or rush someone to the hospital the road network is good to get you there fast and they have everything for the Insawam facility like this we, we realize that they have so many so many services, um, services. they have so um, the neonatal exactly. service they have radiology services mm -hmm. they have the oncology services mm -hmm. they have um, laboratory laboratories Dent they have the dental. ENT that has exactly. the ear nose and throat mm -hmm. they have the dental yes. um, so many a, a lot of them a lot of them so many self they, even depression exactly <laughs> they have, they have counseling for counseling for they well have being. um family planning yes. and they also offer herbal mm -hmm. um, medicinal for, um, care as yeah. well this i believe is is a plus yeah. to the development and a benefit for mm -hmm. the resident and we hope that our clients as we've been saying can mm -hmm. take advantage of these services it was about six minutes drive to, yes. to that center so very good very 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 close so we are here back at phase three mm -hmm. and we are still reminding them that we have plot selling plot selling exactly. i think i'll leave that for you to to to, to mention yes yeah. so we're at Grey City Phase 4, currently at a price point of 90,000 Ghana cities. Outright purchase going for installment at a price point of 100,000 Ghana cities. We offer flexible payment options as well. What more would you want? We're still hammering on Grey City Prime, which is, you know, also in the works exactly. And we're, it's just so much that we have coming. So these are exciting times. Just we have like, the homes also selling. Yes. We have some people that have started making payment mm -hmm. for the homes mm -hmm. from three bedroom bungalows to three bedroom stories to yes. four bedroom story. Mm -hmm. Coming, we have flexible payment plans and uh, come in, ask us the questions. Yes. We have our project up coming at um, the future. For the future, the future and the renaissance tower exactly. at osu mm -hmm. and a lot of you have already started reaching out about the renaissance tower yeah the future we are glad that you have taken interest in what we are offering you mm -hmm. products that cut across all market yeah. segments so yeah, yeah, yeah. we are we are we are really glad that uh, you you guys have welcomed every mm -hmm. offering every service that we have dedicated to bring your way we are really yes. um, appreciative of that mm -hmm. and like we say always they l let your audience mm -hmm. make sure to subscribe exactly because we drop a lot of updates here mm -hmm. and people come to ask us we are fine they come into us but oftentimes when they're able to when they subscribe the moment we post the updates to have the information right yeah. away so we we encourage them to subscribe to the channels and also we keep saying that we we prioritize your feedbacks yeah whatever suggestions they yes. have whatever they want us to talk about they should drop it in the comment section and we'll gladly pick that up as well yes. we want to work hand in hand with them exactly i think we reply to everybody that's yes. how much you know your feedback means to us so yeah. flood us all the time like you said subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that every time we drop you get our alert you come watch it guys stay tuned we'll always come back to give you all of the updates that we have let's all collectively build the communities that we're looking forward to and live together in bliss and harmony stay tuned we'll be back